Hello again everyone, Rebecca here and welcome to another Brutus Monroe Design Team Layout. So today we are playing with aqua pigments. So I have got yellow green, yellow orange, blue violets, blue green, red violet, red violets, and yellow. My little rainbow sampling of all the fun aqua pigments. I guess we should leave them like this so you guys can see. I have a very fun photo of um, us eating at dinner. So this is the family with our niece Evie. And this is going in my Blues Day album. Um, and I'm also using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for April. And I'm going to pull in the Bountiful Blooms stamp set. This, look at this stamp set. It is, once again, chucked full of all my fun background elements. We got hearts and circles and flowers and this cute little girl and friends or flowers that never fade, a life in full bloom. And I am going to create a background using all of these fun stamps and it's just like Brutus Monroe new because there's a bee and they knew I needed a bee stamp in my life so let's go ahead and and the skew on this is BRU7902 I will try to have everything listed down below I was playing with this and I have this all messed up and it's like OCDM. It annoyed me. So we are going to create a fun layout about a family dinner using this really gorgeous stamp set and creating a fun background with these cute elements. So I've got my cardstock and you will see half of it shiny and half of it's not. I have it gessoed this side of the page because I am going to... I think I'm just going to to be honest with you and I'm going to try to pull in the sequins and the ribbon that are also from April's box so I need my messy box don't mind the beautiful paper towels that are in here I always think those are just like my paper towels are always so pretty um but they've He's got like uber amount of glitter on him, so I think we should just do this. <coughs> Excuse me, I do still have a cough. So let's just add a nice new fresh layer of um, whatchamacallits here, paper towels. Nice clean paper towels just in my pizza box here. That's a messy, messy pizza box. And what I was thinking is we're just going to go in rainbow order. So we're going to take, and we have what? Six. So we would do one, two, three. All right. So Roy, so so right here is going to be yellow, right? And I am running so low, so like that's half. So we're just going to. I need more yellow in my life. So we're going to put the yellow. And actually, to be fair, you guys, it's out. Oh, this is a sad, sad day in the world. Okay. There you go. So my yellow's out. That just means I get to shop, right? Most of these are out, to be fair. And we've got the red. Apparently orange, which is my favorite color, is like the least used. Who knew? And then green. 
and then blue and purple. Oh, blue is going to be the same situation. You can tell that I love these. Let's see, can we get any more out of it? You know what I think we can do though, you guys? Let's see if I can add just a little bit of water and get something. If that helped any. Oh, yeah, look at all that color coming off the sides. Ha ha. Revitalize. So the blue may not be as bright as it should be. Just remember that when you go to uh, when the final product comes. And then we'll do purple. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to spray and let it run. That's why I've got the gesso. We just kind of, I don't want massive dripping, but I need a paintbrush just to uh, kind of, ooh. get them, come on guys, well when Chanel. They all wanted to run together, so let's let's bring the the purple down like that and see if we can get the purple to run on its own. Come on. Oh yeah, okay. I'm loving this. But I need the red and the orange to kind of not mix, huh? So. I've got my little paintbrush over here. Let's see if we can get the red to run on its own. And maybe get the orange to kind of do it too. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, but I really do love this. And then we just kind of want to just put a little bit more. Oh, of course, my spray bottle. Do you guys ever just have one of those days where nothing wants to work for you or be your friend? And then... I'm just going to mix in one fun like a little rainbow. So I'm going to add just a little bit of water to my yellow. See if I can jazz this up and just get a little bit more yellow out of this. And just kind of fill in the yellow here. And then we are going to have to let this dry. And it is going to run off the page, obviously, just a little bit. And I'm totally happy if it mixes. But look at how pretty that is. And then we're going to put like a band of paper. And we're going to come in and we are going to fill in the areas with some stamped images that you guys can't see me even pointing to. And you know what I have to do now? I have to, I don't have to. But you know what I'm going to do? i got to go to the Bruce McGraw site and order me some more of these dis um, distress. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little cube sitting right here that was used for a different layout. Order me some more of these aqua pigments in all these fun, fabulous colors. So I need all of them. I need them all. But look at how bright and primary and true to color. Like, that's usually when I water down, when we, you know, I, I know you guys have seen this a thousand times over, watering down colors. They're not as bold and bright. But, yeah, these did not lose anything. And I think... This is gorgeous, and it's quickly becoming my favorite background. But I love aqua pigments. Bruce Monroe products are true to color, and they hold the this, the pigmentation of their products is just fabulous. So I shouldn't have done that because now we're going to have red, but it's okay. 
So we're going to let this dry and we'll come back and work on the layout in just a minute. All right, we are all dry. I did go ahead and do the stamping off screen because of the gesso. It It's a very slow process because the gesso makes it very slick because <laughs> this is a gesso that has no texture or grit in it. So I have to go like uber super slow. Otherwise, I will like schmear the entire thing. So I took this beautiful little edge flower here and I made a border right across the bottom so that we have the flowers coming up. I took this little um, butterfly and I made him perched on a few of the flowers. I took the other butterfly and sprinkled him around and then I grabbed the, some of the hearts and the bubbles and just scattered them about as well. I've just got a piece of paper here just to cover up the top of where I didn't put any of the mixed media. And then I've got my photo, which is popped, it's on, I matted it on just some black cardstock and popped up on some foam. So now we're going to get that stuck down. But didn't this turn out, I mean, this is beautiful. I love, you know what, I want to use I'm going to use some good glue, make sure it sticks. Um, so this is the Easy Squeeze Brutus Monroe White Glue. And we are just going to use a, this because this is uber super sticky wet adhesive. And with all of that gesso and aqua pigments and now stamping, I don't think the other glue would hold, um, but I do know my Brutus Monroe glue is going to hold. And I'm being very, very careful because the black ink, which is the Raven Detail ink, is still wet because it's on gesso. We are just going to stick that right there and I'm going to line up my T-square ruler because I want to make sure that it is straight and press so the ATG will hold it temporarily while, oh, <laughs> while the liquid glue will be a more permanent stick. And so I also have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get those on there. I need a title so I have to find a nice title to go with this, so let's see. I think we're just going to use this little together. We're just going to pop it right here on top of the photo. And I want something up there, and I can't. What do you guys think? Distress Oxide or no. Okay, so we're going to turn this this way because I don't want to smear. We're going to grab just my um, blender brush. And so this is, again, the Raven Detail Ink. And I'm just going to ink these edges in just a little bit. Because I feel like it needs just a little something up here, right? Not a lot. Just something. And this stuff blends beautifully. Look at that. So I'm just doing it right there on my mixed media mat. And I'm just doing very small circles. I just feel like there's so much going on at the bottom of the page with all the stamping and all of the fun mixed media dripping down, which it was kind of fun because this paper really did work well for the way that I did my um, mixed media. And so you just want to take nice little even strokes. And then I always re-ink, but I always try to hold firmly on the area that I'm working, just so that my little dauber, blender, whatever I'm using to ink the edges doesn't go crazy and I end up with a big black streak down my page, right? So we're just going to 
just going to keep just inking and I go back and forth and then I, you know, you do pick up some of the ink that's on the page. I'm also thinking we're going to pull in some of those sequins and pop them around down in the flowers. And maybe some gems from my stash up here at the top just to give it a little bit more something something up here at the top because it's very heavily weighted at the bottom. And we got to be uber super careful. And just a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some sequins, some of these um, assorted sequins that come with the April um, inspiration box. So I'm going to sprinkle those around. So we've got pink, green, and blue, which is a very nice smattering, but I think we're going to just pop them around and then bring them up there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen and I'll be right back. All right, so I jazzed up the top a little bit. I went ahead and took the fun April sequin mix. I outlined the top of the picture, and then I went and outlined the entire thing. And I love the way this turned out. So let me give you a little bit of a close-up here. So we've got some focus. we got some fun sequin work going on. And then all of that really uber, uber, super cool mixed media work. Absolutely loving it. And that is going to do it for my layout today. So all, all the products will be listed down below. Thank you guys, as always, for hanging out with me today and watching this layout come together. Don't forget to check out Burgess Monroe. Remember to always be kind, and I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.